Thanks for watching Denver Police News. We'll see you next time. Are we clear? We're glad you decided to stick around after the show. If you haven't seen what the Denver Police Department is up to lately, I can't wait to show you. Thanks to the Denver Police Foundation and the city, we've been able to tell our stories and get you information faster than ever before. We aren't a news station. Instead, we report our news, whether it's road closures, the good work the men and women of this department do every day, and so much more. I want to show you what you'll find when you see that DenverPoliceNews.com badge. You've seen the virtual set. Now, let me show you some of our equipment. We've also got something pretty cool in the back of the set. This is our interview set. We may have had anywhere from 8,000 to 10,000 officers that have served in various capacities. Our commitment is to continue that environment with Special Olympics. Win or lose, we get to play too. If you think this is cool, well, we think you're right. And so do people all around Colorado, the U.S., and even around the world. But this is only the tip of the iceberg. Take a look. We are producing our own content and videos. And man, we have a lot to say. You ready for the tough questions? Sure. I think it was equally important for the men and women in our department and community to know that we are addressing that issue. I've been doing Vandermeer for quite a few years. <laughs> We're getting ready to go contact a wanted felon. Camera police, let me see your hands. We're here to tell you about a new scam that's occurring. Thank you for allowing me to coach you guys. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your family. I think they set an example for all of us. <laughs> Our YouTube audience has exploded. Check out these numbers. If it's interaction you crave, like us on Facebook. We are reaching millions of people with the great stories the men and women of this department do every single day. Looking for breaking news? Follow us on Twitter. There, you'll have instant access to accidents, road closures, police activity, safety tips, and so much more. Want to take us on the go? Our radio podcasts give you in-depth interviews, stories, and experts. Subscribe to us in the iTunes store. Looking for one-stop shopping? You can find all of this at denverpolicenews.com. And coming soon to a smartphone near you, the Denver Police News app will keep you up to date on the go. As we look to the future, our commitment to you is to work toward our mission, which is to prevent crime in the city of Denver. But we also pledge to take you with us in that journey. Follow us and we'll tell you our stories, introduce the men and women of this department, and continue to show you the good work officers do every day. Stay tuned. Are we ready to roll? Welcome to this edition of Denver Police News. I'm Sergeant Steve Warnicke.